Hey everyone, it's Paige. We are back from our YouTube video today and I am at True North. I am outside, out of my garage, which is really nice. I mean, we have live PGA Tour golf coming back. It's, it's exciting. It feels like things are starting to get a little bit more normal. Is that? <laughs> I know this is a very unnormal 2020 and a very wild year so far, but it is good to be back on the golf course and to swing. Today's video is all about how to get back into it. I'm going to give you some good warm-up drills as well. First thing first, you've probably been inside and away from the sun for a long time. So lather off with some sunscreen. You guys know me. You always say I'm super pale, but that's because I always put sunscreen on. You don't want to burn the first day you're back outside, so put sunscreen on first. The next thing is to loosen up a little bit, stretch out. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite stretching moves that I do before I hit some golf balls. First, we're gonna work out the legs a little bit. Next, we're going to shoulders. Let's grab a club for this. Work out the wrists. Have your club. I'm just going to work your back out a little bit. ready to start hitting. When I am just getting back into it or if I haven't hit for a long time, I start small and I work big. The biggest thing is trying to find the center of the club face again. So I see a ton of people just get to the range and start hitting, whacking golf balls full swing and then they complain that they, they're not warmed up or they can't find the center. So start small and work big and don't move on to a bigger swing until you are consistently finding the center of the club face. great to warm your body up as well and warm your wrist up so just small little chip shots then once I feel good with my smaller shots then I'll go a little bit bigger to more of a pitch shot but again don't move on from your chip shots until you're consistently finding the center of the club face and if you're not sure you can normally tell by if they feel solid or you can also look at the pattern that's being left on your club Also, work at like a 50, 50 to 70% speed. You don't need to be hitting these full, full out. On my pitch shots, I'm really working on stabilizing my body and not having too much movement. Also working a bit on my takeaway too, to have it be kind of low and slow instead of really fast. So it's all about tempo, right now and staying uh, steady over the ball. As you can see, that one was much better than the one before because I really stayed steady over it. My pitch shots feel pretty good, so now I'm gonna work on the, I'm gonna go to my full swing, but again, this is like 50, 60% of your speed. Really take your time warming up and work on things that are your key points. So for me, it's low and slow with my takeaway, 
and it's staying steady over the ball. When I haven't been out on the golf course for a while, the first thing that starts to go for me is my basics, my fundamentals. So it would be grip, alignment, and ball position. So I have my two sticks here, and I'm gonna work on my alignment right now. So I'm gonna set one down, pick a target out in the distance, and line it up. I use the right stick and I run it all along the inside of the left stick and it should be like this far left of your target. When people are lining up, a big mistake that I see is that they move it way too far left because they think it should be like parallel lines. But if you think about it in the distance, it, um, you only need to have it about this far left visually from here. Next, I put this stick down right where the ball is and this is going to help me with my ball position. This is a nine iron that I have in my hand. That's too far forward, that's too far back, so it's a real visual to see where you're lining the ball up. The next thing that I check is my grip. So I want to have both of the V's running straight up my shoulders. We've talked about grip a lot, but you don't want to have it too weak or too strong, so just make sure that your grip is neutral and that you feel ready to go. Hopefully, if you've listened to any of my other tutorials, <laughs> you have been working on your grip at home and this is a great way to now implement what you've been working on on the golf course. So I don't start right away with a full swing. I do a couple drills so I again find impact and make sure that I, I feel really steady over the golf ball. So the first one that I do is just a straight arm back and through body turn and so I feel really connected. I really want, I'm focusing on connection with this drill. So as you can see, there's really no hinge, there's no bending of my arms. It's really just to make sure I'm connected with my entire upper body to my chest and I'm really turning through it. The next drill that I do, and I've showed you these drills before, but these are my absolute go-to favorite drills of all time. If you can successfully find impact, the correct impact position doing these drills, you're gonna be good to go. So next, it's the one leg stance. So it's put one leg down, it's your front foot, and then the next one is back. All the weight is on your front foot, and you just turn around. Again, this is really forcing you to like turn your body and get connection. And the last drill before you can start hitting full shots at more of a full speed is the stop at the top drill. This is such a great drill for really anyone, doesn't matter what swing plane you're on or what's going on. If you are connected, it's really easy to find the positions and to find impact. So this one is you stop at the top for a second, and then you hit the golf ball. Out of all of the drills, this one's the hardest, so try to be patient with it. And if you can find impact doing this drill, find the center of the club face, then you're good to go. Even I struggle with this one quite a bit. This drill is so great because it's almost like your hands from the top are just falling and they actually kind of fall in the position. So many people when they get to the top rush it and that's where they get that over the top and they tend to slice it. And so with this one, it's really hard to kind of pull it down and drop it from over the top. So you, it's showing you kind of where your hands need to fall from the top. So after you've done all of those drills and your body feels warmed up, now you can move into full swing. I like to start around 60% of my full speed. And because I took the time to properly warm up, I hit that first one absolutely perfect. You don't need a lot of time when you're practicing, you just need to practice smart. 
all of those drills really didn't take me all that long to complete, but because I took the time to go through all of them, when it came down to hitting the golf ball, I was ready to go. Now I don't have to spend time being frustrated because I miss hitting golf balls because I, I took the time to go through everything I need to do. So really try to slow down on the range and take some time to yourself. So this is how I work through my bag for all my practice. Doesn't matter if I am practicing just to practice or if I am warming up to go play. I always start out with my 54 first and then I go to my nine iron. From there I go to my seven iron, then to my five, then I hit my three hybrid, my three wood, and then my driver. And then I'll go back down to my wedges and finish off with uh, pitch shots, wedge shots, and chip shots. Work on what you need to work on that you're struggling with. So whatever club that may be, take a little bit extra time to focus on that club. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Leave a comment down below, like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, yay, golf is back. I can't wait to hear how your first rounds are going, how you're feeling, and uh, that's all for today. I will see you guys next Thursday.